Hi, I am Nathaniel Rumpel Jansen. I am your boss man from ZeldaInformer.com. So first off, you'll notice I'm back in my kitchen, which we haven't revisited since episode one or two. Um, today's episode is kind of a quick and dirty, uh, just get it out there, get it done with. I didn't have time to set up my usual, my usual studio situation. However, the lighting is a lot better in my kitchen than it is when I'm trying to do it in other areas. So, um, that's a bonus, right? <laughs> um... Also, because this episode is being thrown together so quickly, because I'm on a bit of a time constraint this week, it might not feature as much uh, quality editing as you're used to, Uh, but hey, I have something I want to talk about, and I want to get it out there and give you guys a solid episode this week, and that would be why Link is a hunter and gatherer in Zelda U, or The Legend of Zelda for Wii U. (laughs) This week's episode is a personal theory of mine. I don't really have any factual evidence to suggest that it's true, only the evidence that we've seen so far in the given video footage. So, Link wears a hood in Zelda U, at least so far in the footage we've seen. He has a little hoodie, and a lot of people have associated this with being a ranger. Uh, Add on top of the fact that he uses a bow and arrow, and that's featured uh, really heavily, it's just naturally assumed that archery is in his background in some way, and that the background of Link, the character in this game, might be more closely linked to a ranger of sorts that might have something to do with the Gerudo tribe. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that, although I think it's a really interesting concept. Really, I think that he is a hunter and gatherer for whatever village, be it for the Gerudos or the Hylians or whatever local village they create from. They tend to create a new village for Link uh, rather frequently in the game, whether it's the Kokiris in Ocarina of Time or, uh, man, what was the name? That that village in in Twilight Princess. I, for some reason, can't recall right now. There's also Outset Island and the Wind Waker, so they tend to create a new village for him to come from uh, in every game. And I think that he's a hunter and gatherer for that village. Now, why do I think he's a hunter and gatherer? And what would be his role or his point to be a hunter and gatherer? If you look at the history of the world, hunter and gatherers, uh, before hunting became a sport like it is today, back when we actually needed hunting and gathering to survive as a people, hunter and gatherers were the food suppliers for your colony or for your town or your little village or just your own personal family. Uh, someone would go out and they would hunt wildlife, uh, be it by spear fishing, uh, you know, shooting on the bow and arrow or a spear, a deer, uh, picking berries, picking apples, whatever the case may be, there were hunters and gatherers and they would go out and collect the food that their family or their village would then consume. This was before domestication became a thing, before we had farms, uh, be the farms growing wheat or cows or pigs, uh, you know, we just, it was long before domestication of animals existed. That, that's, that's something I want to mention specifically because in Zelda U, I don't think that domestication of animals is necessarily a big thing. In fact, Zelda U is one of the first games where animals and wildlife are featured rather vividly in the world. In fact, we've seen a lot more wildlife than we've actually seen enemies, and that's surprising. Um, in the past, all we've seen is like insects and little little bugs and stuff like that. Uh, but here we have full full grown animals, from goats uh, that we saw in the reveal trailer to deer to horses. The point is, we've seen quite a bit of wildlife. In addition, uh, Miyamoto himself brought up that apples grow on trees and that Link can pick them and eat them. And that kind of brought up an idea in my mind that I I wasn't sure how to phrase until now, and that was that Link's a hunter and gatherer. Uh, You have all this wildlife out there, and you have uh, apples that grow in trees. There could be berries that grow in bushes. We haven't seen that yet, but it could be a thing. It could be pears that grow in trees, bananas, a whole bunch of of whatever they want to put in the game, really. And Link could could be gathering those to either consume them or save them for consumption, or be hunting wildlife to also save them for consumption, or maybe even collect crafting items um, like pelts and stuff to actually further advance his gear. Now, we've seen uh, some of this in the past in the Zelda series, especially in Skyward Sword, uh, where you would collect larvae and various insect and enemy pieces. You would use that to craft uh, upgrades to your gear. And I think hunting and gathering is actually a more natural way to pursue that. And 
it could actually make sense logically that Link is a hunter and gatherer because domestication of animals doesn't appear to be a big thing. Now, in the reveal, we got to see that there was kind of looked like a villager and you know a house kind of out by some of the ram. So you could say that maybe there's some herders out there. Um, but herding isn't exactly the same as domesticating animals. Um, herding, and it, it still happens in certain parts of the world today, the animals are kind of free. They can leave anytime they want. They are, they're wild. But they kind of tend to stay together because these they pick out animals like sheep and such that like to live in packs and like to live in herds. And then we direct those herds, you know, whether it's by human commands or a dog whatever the case we kind of direct them to different areas to eat and feast and then you know eventually we shear them to create clothing or you know we kill them for food uh and over the years you know we started to fence in some of the domesticating and try to make it a bit more well as i said a bit more domesticated but back way back when that wasn't the case it would just there were sheep herders and that's what they would do they would they would be herding animals and the animals were free and could literally leave uh, but they generally stayed together because they liked to be a pack. And plus, when they stayed together, there was also, um, and they stayed next to your master, there was a lot less chance of like wildlife, like wolves and such, consuming them because the humans would chase them off. You bring that into the world of Zelda U. We have yet to see any sort of um, domestication of animals beyond the potential of herders. So herding, herding still existed when hunting and gathering was still a big thing. It was just... Um, kind of the initial beginning of trying to gather up all of one type of creature or one type of animal so you wouldn't have such a hard time hunting them down uh, or letting them get killed off by other wildlife. So herding can exist while there's hunter and gatherers. And with all the wildlife that's out there, Link could easily just be someone who provides food for his family or for his local village. And that's his backstory. Now he always seems to have a really simple backstory uh, you know, there are some complex ones, like an Ocarina of Time, how he was left to the Great Duca Tree by his mother. Uh, that left open, you know, a whole world of possibilities for what happened, uh, how, we, how his mom ended up dropping off Link with the Great Duca Tree for protection. But, or Deku Tree, sorry. <laughs> um, but that, that gets kind of besides the point. Uh, I think Link's a hunter and gatherer because the game itself suggests that he does hunting and gathering. And... One person brought up to me when I mentioned this topic that uh, a fan, actually, when I got in a debate with them over something entirely unrelated, I mentioned about hunting and gathering. Um, they said it might be too violent for the Zelda series. And I just wanted to toss that aside. Uh, Link has stabbed Ganondorf in the head, stabbed him through the chest, kills multiple enemies all the time, um, captures insects and collects their larva. Uh, Link does this kind of stuff pretty frequently in the Zelda series, so I don't think hunting is necessarily out of the realm of possibility, even though you're killing wildlife, because killing wildlife as a hunter is kind of an accepted an accepted normal in the world we're in today. Um, hunting is a sport, and has been kind of a sport for a while, and it's widely accepted across the globe. Uh, obviously, there's some, uh, some animal activists uh, that think it's wrong in some ways, and think nature should take its course. Um, and I think they often forget that we, as a people, are part of nature and we're animals ourselves. So, the, as the pecking order goes, we eat the animals, so we hunt the animals. <laughs> um, but, yeah, hunting is kind of widely, uh, widely accepted across the globe. And it isn't really viewed as this ultra-violent thing. So, the fact that Link could shoot a deer with an arrow and then maybe go and skin it quick... Um, isn't even something that would give the, the game a, a, an M for mature kind of rating because it's natural. This is something that happens out in the real world. It's frequent, frequent and it's accepted. Uh, it's not viewed as evil, as it were. Um, like gun violence, you know, walking into a school and shooting up kids, that's evil. That If that was in Zelda where Link would go into a village and kill a bunch of people, that would give it like an M rating. But hunting wildlife uh, to survive and to, to eat... Um, wouldn't be a big deal. Now, some say, well, what about the heart system where you cut grass and get hearts? Uh, that could still be a thing. Obviously, the hearts aren't going anywhere. It's a staple in the series. But, you know, Link drinks potions and, and that kind of stuff to restore hearts. So what's, what's the big deal if he eats some apples or, you know, cuts down or, you know, kills wildlife? And it doesn't even have to be to restore health, but that's just the most natural effect is that, oh, geez, I need some hearts. You know, let me let me kill, kill this deer over here and restore myself um, with some nourishment. So... 
that, that's kind of my theory this week. <laughs> Link's a hunter and gatherer and Zelda U. Uh, I firmly believe that this is going to be proven to be true um, by you know around E3 time. So, uh, yeah, what do you think? Do you think Link's a hunter and gatherer? Do you think he's just like a ranger that's protecting his village? Or that he's a messenger type? Or do you think he's kind of a free spirit um, that he just camps out and isn't he just does what he has to do to survive more so than being a hunter and gatherer specifically for for his uh, family or for the town he's from? So let me know uh, below in the comments. Otherwise, you can check me out on uh, Twitter, at Nate Jantz. You can also follow uh, Zelda Informer on Twitter, at Zelda Informer. Follow us on Facebook, uh, slash Facebook. You can subscribe by clicking up here somewhere on the corner. There's a little subscribe icon for uh, YouTube automatically puts on that you can click and subscribe to our videos. Uh, you can also check me out and Zelda Informer out on Meverse. We started a uh, new weekly feature in the past week called Meverse Highlights, and you have to comment on a post that we make there once a week um, and you know to respond to our question and draw a picture and all that stuff. And uh, that my, my user account on that is Zelda Informer. I will include a link in the description. Um, I, I'm called ZI Nate Jance on there. Uh, but like I said, my Nintendo Network ID is Zelda Informer, so that's the easiest way to find me if you're looking for me on Miiverse specifically. Uh, so yeah, been a good week this week. Like I said, quick and dirty. We'll be back to our normal studio situation next week. Adios.